almost a year ago, um, my aunt started suffering back pains. Uh, she went to the doctor and they told her that it was a normal injury for someone that has been playing tennis for almost 30 years. She went to do some therapy and since she wasn't uh, feeling better, they did a, an x-ray and they discovered an injury in her lungs. And they say that they have a strain in their lung muscles and, their, and their, in, 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 the, in the muscles in their ribs. They gave, they gave her treatment and a few weeks later, she was, her, her health was getting more uh, poorer and poorer, and uh, so they did a biopsy. Two weeks later, the, the results of the biopsy came and it said that she had stage three lung cancer. She, her lifestyle was almost uh, uh, free of risk. She never smoked a cigarette, she never drank alcohol, and she has been uh, playing sport for almost half of her life. Perhaps that is why it took almost six months to, uh, to get properly diagnosed of lung cancer. We're living in the 21st century, and we, and for the majority of people, we still don't have, uh, for the majority of people still don't have access to early cancer diagnostics. Even though we know that early cancer diagnostics is basically the closest thing we have to a silver bullet cure against cancer. I want to imagine a near future where we don't have to live in constant fear if we have some cancer that has gone undetected or where my loved ones uh, do, not want, do not have to wait for some symptoms of this day figure out that something's wrong. Or that can, for a, a near future where cancer is uh, treated very easily because it is constantly diagnosed in the very early stages. The previous panel talked about standing on the shoulders of these people that have been creating these databases and putting it on for, for, the, for the other people to use, and also ordinary people to get involved in biology. Well, this team is actually a living example that when you combine the knowledge and naivety of ordinary guys in extraordinary different fields, you can create uh, simple solutions that solve complex problems. And that is how Actually, at BioCurious last year, we did our early test to develop a bioassay that dramatically lowers the cost of detecting cancer through the examination of microRNAs. MicroRNAs are uh, small RNA molecules that regulate gene expression post-transcriptionally. Uh, unlike the genome, which is mainly fixed for a given cell line, the transcriptome can vary depending on internal signals and also on environmental conditions. So the transcriptome can reflect which genes are actively expressed at any given time. That is why abnormal microRNA expressions create unique patterns for each specific type of cancer, making microRNAs the perfect biomarker. So we thought that the knowledge was already there and we thought it was mainly an engineering problem and we try to crack it this way. First of all, a nurse draws the blood from a patient, approximately 10 milliliters. Then a lab technician extract, extracts the total RNA of the blood sample and uh, puts that blood sample in our 96 well place. Each well has a, a specific biochemistry that we created that is looking for a specific microRNA. And whenever that microRNA is present, it will shine with blue light. Um, then we, 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 can, we can see all the, all the, all the wells that shine re represent the pattern of the microRNAs that are present on the bloodstream of the, of the patient. And then we compare that, that sample or that pattern with, a specific, uh, with the patterns of microRNAs in the specific types of cancer. The biochemistry that we created works in every uh, lab machinery that already exists. However, we took a step further and we decided to create, to design and 3D print a machine, a device, a super cheap device that uses an Arduino to, uh, to, do, to run the chemical reaction and a smartphone to uh, document the reaction and process everything in the, in the cloud, finding new patterns, new correlations, identifying which cancer uh, the patient has in, if, in case it has, it has it, which stage and, which, uh, and, the, and the aggressiveness of the tumor as well as other contextual information. We're, we're using Basically, a state-of-the-art molecular biology, we're using 
open hardware. We're using smartphones uh, and uh, 3D printing to try to tackle one of uh, humanity's toughest challenge. The results so far have been very successful and promising. We are at very early stages, but we are, we have been able to test our method with uh, hepatic cancer and gastric cancer. And currently, we're deploying tests with breast cancer. We will continue doing that with colon cancer and with lung cancer. So we want to create, by the, by the end of this year, to have a test uh, ready that has improved in five different types of cancer that, that with one single test, uh, in an accurate way, in a fast way, and in a non-expensive way, you can check for different types of cancer. Today, uh, cancer treatment and diagnostics happen mainly when symptoms appear. That is stage three or stage four. We believe that is too late. It's too expensive for the countries, it is too expensive for humanity, it is too expensive for the families. Cancer not only costs us billions of dollars, it also costs us the people we love. Unfortunately, I think everybody in this room have a close story around this malady. However, I'm very positive that in the very near future, because of this and all the breakthroughs that we're hearing tonight and today, uh, the, the concept that we see this disease, life and death, and death will change forever. As they say, these are all ideas whose time have come. Thank you very much.